It was a day which began with the hope, at least, of small victories for diplomacy. Are you concerned about the number of civilians who are dying in Gaza, sir? America's Secretary of State here for a meeting of the Security Council to pave the way for a vote on a ceasefire of sorts. To order. A living nightmare. In the chamber, they heard the pain of the Israelis. Aviv, two years old. Ariel, four years old. Kfir, little Kfir, only nine months. And the plea Mr. from President. the Palestinian foreign minister. We are here today to stop the killing, to stop the massacres being committed against the Palestinian people. And then there was this from the UN Secretary General. It is important to also recognize the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. An attempt to find context for these dark days, well, it was not what the Israelis wanted to hear. Outside the chamber, surrounded by families of some of the hostages, Israel's foreign minister had just cancelled his meeting with the Secretary General and the country's ambassador had this. The Secretary General must resign. This building was, prevent, was, was established to prevent atrocities. How can the Secretary General, in the, with his words, justify in any way the terrible atrocities that happened to our civilians, innocent civilians. The Arab bloc of nations who could well be key to all of this called once again for a complete ceasefire by Hamas and Israel. We condemn all killing of civilians. But for them, the solution is about looking beyond Hamas, context, the reality of life for Palestinians. If we are not willing to overcome all the difficulties, all the challenges, all the history, that is uh, involved in this issue, then we will never have a, a real peace and security in the region. So we must restart the peace process. Do you think the, the Arabs have shown clearly, have shown that they are serious, have shown that they are willing to engage? We are ready. We hope that we can do it soon. Do you believe the Israelis are serious? Back in the chamber, a place that looks for consensus and stands for peace could find neither. Mark Stone, Sky News in New York.